Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn about the cascading of dynamic gates. So, dynamic logic design and static logic design, as we know, there are two types of static and dynamic designs are there, which are used to design CMOS logic circuitry. Static design is nothing but where the inputs are constant and dynamic uh, CMOS logic circuit design is nothing but it consists of a clock signal which varies continuously with respect to time. Now coming to the dynamic CMOS logic circuits when we are having a cascading nothing but one stage followed by another stage of same type for example this one. See here in figure A we are having a logic circuit 1 and here also we are having the same logic circuit to when two stages of same type connected one after another such configuration is known as cascading. So in this type of cascading what is the problem when we are having the cascaded networks of dynamic CMOS logic circuit. See here we are having a MP transistor and ME transistor where MP transistor is on when the clock signal is equal to 0 and ME transistor is on when clock signal is equal to 1. Okay, This is the basic architecture of the dynamic CMOS logic circuit design. Along with these two we are having a pull down network with a constant or static input like input. Now assume a condition where the clock signal is changing from logic 0 to logic 1. See all these are analysis. Whatever we are going to see in this particular uh, concepts like uh, dynamic CMOS logic circuit design, all these are analytical approaches. It means what happens when the input is changing from 0 to high? What are the different uh, problems associated with that particular network? Okay, we are going to analyze all these. In the previous uh, video also I have explained about the issues involved in the dynamic CMOS logic circuit design. There I have addressed three issues. Similarly, here also when we are going for the cascading of two dynamic CMOS logic circuits, what are the, what is the problem that we are having and how to overcome that. So here I am explaining first the problem with respect to cascaded networks. When the input is changing from 0 to 1 and assume that the in for the pull down network which is also changing from logic 0 to logic 1, then what happens, see when the input is equal to 0 for this in. I am writing in blue color, when input is equal to 0 for this in, the output suppose if it is pre-charged, then the output has no path for discharging, hope you understand, it does not have any path to discharge, but when input is changing from 0 to 1, like here, here it is changing from 0 to 1, then what happens now, this transistor is in on state and the clock is also changing from 0 to 1. Clock is also changing from 0 to 1. So, clock becomes 1. So, what about the output 1? Out 1 whatever suppose if any pre-charge voltage is there more than some threshold voltage definitely now it will be having a discharging path through the on transistor of this pull down network and as well as on transistor of this ME. Okay. So, see here output one slowly or gradually discharges discharges until some threshold voltage hope you understand similarly when it completely goes to zero as it is changing slowly towards zero again here also the output two discharges output two discharges through these transistors so it is also discharging Okay, so likewise we are, we are having a cascaded networks of similar like uh, dynamic CMOS logic circuits. The output goes on decreasing because of the first first networks input. Okay, this is the problem that we encounter when we are having a cascaded networks. So to avoid that there are two different logic functions I, we suggest. One is a domino logic and another one is NP CMOS logic circuit. Okay, so the two most important most important designs 
design styles to avoid problems in cascaded dynamic CMOS logic designs is sorry or first one domino logic domino logic and second one n p n p c mos logic okay so first let us see what do you mean by domino logic later i will explain about the c mos logic in the domino logic see this is the domino logic in this domino logic see the figure same whatever the logic circuit we have in the previous case the same logic circuit we have in the dynamic cmos logic circuit see this is the mp transistor applied with the clock signal and this is the evaluation transistor me applied with the same clock signal along with these two we are also having a pull down network from output between this uh, me and the output node with a certain number of inputs now we are having similar architecture because we have to eliminate or avoid the problems associated with the cascaded combination of dom uh, dynamic cmos logic circuits so, so we have taken the similar circuits and additionally we have taken one inverter which is a cmos inverter that inverter is connected in between the output of first stage to the input of second stage to the input of second stage so as this output is consisting of three inputs because of three input uh, here we have three inputs outputs are also like a combination of three inputs so, so that output is connected here along with that one more input is also been added and this is, these two are applied to the pull down network and remaining are common so what additionally we have when compared to the previous circuits we have additionally a cmos inverter this cmos inverter makes the output to the complement and it will never provide any path to discharge or to charge as it is having a cmos inverter at the particular stage so it stops there only it stops there only it will not again revert the voltage back revert the voltage back so a domino logic module consists of n type domino n type dynamic cmos logic circuit followed by a static inverter this one is the static inverter so during pre charge the output of the n type dynamic gate is charged up to vdd here and the output inverter is set to zero so when the output is completely charged to vdd here this makes the output to zero because of this inverter during evaluation the dynamic gate card conditionally discharges and the output of the inverter makes the condition transition from zero to one okay so if one assumes that all the inputs of the domino logic are outputs of other domino logic gate three that means this one three gates here we have three pull down transistors then it is ensured that all the inputs are set to zero the introduction of the static inverter has additionally advantage that the fan out of the gate is driven by a static inverter with low impedance <coughs> okay so you can say it is having two important properties domino logic has two properties one since each dynamic logic since each dynamic logic has a static inverter as a static inverter only non inverting logic can be implemented yes only non inverting
logic can be implemented okay so by default the domino logic or any type of CMOS logic circuit provides the complemented output but because of using this non-inverting uh, an inverter at the output the output is a non-inverting logic always that is the uh, we can consider it as an advantage or as well as disadvantage in the domino logic and very high speeds can be achieved another important thing is very high speeds can be achieved <clears throat> now coming to the second case which is nothing but np case np cmos n p cmos the domino logic we have seen in the previous case that logic has the disadvantage that each dynamic gate requires an extra static inverter as i said there each and every uh, stage cascaded stage suppose consisting of n number of stages are there n number of inverters we need to use okay in the critical path to make the circuit functional also but np cmos provides an alternative approach to cascading dynamic cmos logic by using two flavors like a n tree and p tree of the dynamic logic okay it uses two flavors it uses two methods or flavors one is n tree p tree and the another one is the n tree Okay, P3 logic gate, PMOS devices are used in used to build up a pull up logic network. See, PMOS transistors are connected here in the pull up design, and the pull down transistors, which are made up of N type transistors, are connected here. See the difference between these two. See, one logic pull down network is connected in the pull down place only between the CME and the output, and the pull up network is connected between ME here and output 2 you have to understand one point that me is here and it is mp whatever it is evolution or pre-charge see now np logic uh, np cmos logic exploits the duality between n tree and p tree logic gates to eliminate the cascading problem if the entry gates are controlled by this clock all these are controlled by the clock and P gates are controlled by using clock power. So that means one is opposite to other case. And entry gates can directly drive P gates and vice versa. The output of this one is connected to here. And again, we can use pull up network here and pull down network here. See what is the difference here. The output from here we are taking and we are connected directly to the pull up network. But additionally, we are having an inverter which goes downwards to n number of blocks and again here also we are having one more inverter which is connected from output 2 to other p blocks see here output of n type block is connected to the number of n channels and output of p type block is connected to the n number of p type blocks so whatever it is finally we are using uh, we are not going for all the number of nmos inverters CMOS inverters at the outputs of every stage. So similarly, N trees blocks can follow P trees without any problems. Okay. N tree follows P trees. First P we can use, later we can use N, which is opposite case for this current situation. Okay. But what is the problem with that? A disadvantage of NP CMOS logic style is the is that the p tree blocks are slower than entry blocks so due to the lower current driving capability of the pmos transistors in logic network equalizing the propagation delay requires extra time extra area <coughs> okay that is the problem associated with the np np cmos the disadvantage is of np cmos is that 
P tree blocks. We can say P tree blocks are slower than N tree blocks due to low current driving capability of P type transistors. Okay, and another one is area is also more for application requires propagation delay requires extra area equalizing the <coughs> equalizing the propagation delay requires more area Okay, so this is the cascading of dynamic CMOS logic circuits. Thank you.